time. Before I go to angle of elevation and angle of depression, I'm going to look at sine, say, say A. What is sine A? Now listen to the definition. A right angle has one, you know, right angle and two acute angles. If we select one of the acute angles, which angle would you like to select, A or B? B. If we select one acute angle, okay, you pick B, okay, angle B, right, and we call the ratio of the side opposite angle, is this angle, which is len, mm -hmm. yeah, we pick the opposite, which is B, the ratio of B over the Hypotenuse, which is C. C. This angle, this, this is the sign of the angle B. So this is how the sign. Come again. A right angle has one right ang angle and two acute angles. If we select one of the acute angle and you pick B, we call the ratio of the side opposites to this angle, which is Lam B to hypotenuse, which is C, the sine of the angle B. Is that clear? Yes. Okay. The opposite over the hypotenuse is called sine of B. Um, so, let's say it's your given 30 degree. And you are given the length equal to two here. C equal to two. And what is B here? Three. Can you find it? Now I'm going to ask you to use the calculator. See what your calculator said about it. You're given one angle and one side. Can you find B? Take over two sides. If I give you um, another another one, if I give you uh, the side, let's say um, say the triangles. If I say um, six and a Four. Can you can you find this angle? <coughs> what is this? And uh, what is the length here? So you look at that. Sine is equal to opposite of hypotenuse, right? So you, you should be able to find it. Find this one with me. Sign B equal to? Opposite equal to? Four. Four over six. Six is equal to? Two thirds. So angle B equal? This is the reverse. The calculator, you use the reverse. How many degrees? Sine equals two thirds. And then you use the inverse. Zero point six 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 then inverse sign. What do you get? Forty-one point eight degree. So, 
how do you practice them? Because, oh, I'm infinite. <laughs> Sorry. So 0 0.5 equal to V over 2. So V equal to V equal to what? 1. 1. 1. 